it's your girl Amory back with another smacking video okay alrighty y'all so we back with another video yay 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 we love it we love to see it and y'all cute as spooky spooky music <laughs> y'all is um a hair tutorial while also being a like halloween party themed um i'm gonna show y'all what i'm gonna be for halloween hit down in the comments if you want to guess what i'm gonna be for halloween before watching the end of this video and or middle and slash stuff in the video <laughs> so definitely guess what i'm gonna be for halloween i've never been it before and i think it is going to be top tier like y'all i'm excited so anyway in this video i am going to do a bleach bath on a wig and it's a really old wig something that i had in my closet um i used it in a couple videos before um if you watched my um the red skunk stripe video that i have on my channel that is the wig that i'll be using in this video um it's kind of older now um a little worn but it will still do justice. Sorry, y'all, my kids, they're playing rough over here. One was huffing and puffing, but I think it's gonna be super cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bleach bath with developer and bleach in a container. I'm gonna show you all the container that I'm using. So I am going to be using this type of container. I'm going to boil some hot water. I have it on the stove right now. I'm gonna put the hot water in here. I'm gonna put the bleach and developer in here as well. Um, I'm gonna show that in a separate clip, but this is the container that I'll be using. Nothing special, nothing crazy. I got it from the dollar store for $1.25 and 25 cents taxes. So yeah. And then I'm going to put a top on top so it can seal in all of that heat and moisture so it can develop a little bit faster because I'm impatient and I'm trying to get it going, I'm trying to get it going. So um, the goal I am going for, um, I'm just going to kind of spoil it now what I'm going to be for Halloween so you all can have the idea in your head. I am going to be Medusa, boom, bam, pow. And yeah. So with that, um, with Medusa, I know it is a, a Greek goddess who I essentially have so many heard stories about and so forth and so on. I thought it'd be super dope if I did something like that. And I got my outfit from Fashion Nova. And when I put it on, y'all, it's going to be, it's going to be a scene because I'm going to do my makeup whole nine yards. Like it's going to be tea. And the color that I'm going for is like a greenish, um, as dark as I could find. I know the color I have now is not as dark as I want it to be, but it'll do. It'll do. I'm not crazy, you know, picky about it. I just found what I could. Let me show you the color. So this is the color that I'll be using. Um, it is the Got To Be Say Goodbye To Boring Colors. It is in the Mermaid Green. So I know the glare probably sucks, but yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah that is the color it's going to be um and that is as dark as i could find they didn't have a lot of colors in the walmart that i went to like i said we don't have a beauty supply store out here where i am so this was the next best thing and i got two boxes of it so um i always go with two boxes of everything y'all i don't care i don't care i'm going two two to three boxes i'm not running out i can't i'm not that's not me i'm not doing that and i'm not gonna start doing it so i got my two boxes i have my handy dandy dollar gloves i got these from walmart these from the dollar store i didn't need anything special about these gloves y'all because i'm gonna use them and throw them in the garbage so it works it works in my favor but yeah y'all let me show y'all the wig too because <laughs> y'all when i tell y'all this wig <laughs> This wig a little raggedy. It's a little raggedy. Yeah, this is the wig. Um, as you can see, I previously had dyed it before. Um, it, it looks a little burnt slightly, but I am a constructive Bob the Builder wig type of girl. So, um, the knots are bleached. Um, they've already been pre-bleached. I'm I'm gonna just spray some Ebony New York spray. It's gonna 
it's it's gonna get reconstructed so mind you don't don't judge it for what it looks right right now but it's just an old wig y'all i believe this is about like i think i got in like 20 or 22 inches um like i said there's a video on this wig specifically when it was fresh out the box brand spanking new clean so definitely go watch that video is my red stripe skunk video um red skunk stripe video so definitely go check that out if you are interested in this wig once it's in this better condition you'll see why but yeah go check it out i'm not gonna take too long in my intro because i could talk all day and i ain't trying to talk all day but we just gonna get right to it okay guys so just stay tuned for this video and we finna go ahead and i'm gonna go back once my wig is done just to give y'all a little bit more details on the process of what i'm gonna do for my halloween costume so let's get the ball rolling okay okay Alrighty y'all, so I'm using the Clairol White 40 Developer and then I have the bleach right there and also I have my two handy dandy little spoonaroonies and all I'm going to do is put five scoops of the bleach powder in there and then I'm going to use half of a bottle of the bleach liquid and just mix that all up till I get like a um, creamy texture just making sure that it's all good to go and then after I do that I pour the hot water in there just so that way it can bubble 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 and get the wig to where I need it to be and the color that I need it to be so I'm just stirring it up here just making sure that it's all good to go and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the wig in mix the wig around just making sure that it's fully saturated and everything is going on to the wig that I need it to be. As you can see, I'm just boom, boom, booming. I put the lid on top, sealing that hot moisture in. And I waited for about 15 minutes for the hair to turn and bleach. So it actually turned out pretty nicely. And here I am just going to go ahead and wash the bleach out. I used cold water. I did not use any shampoo just because I have to go back in and do another um, color bath for it for the green color. So I just rinsed it out with water only and it still turned out pretty nice. And this is the color that it came out to. That's what it looks like when it's wet. And when it is dry, I'm also gonna show a clip of that. Alrighty y'all, so this is how the wig turned out so far. Not exactly what I was going for, but hold on, let me pick it up. Exactly what I was going for. You do see some tenses of green and teal in there, even on the ends, you could kind of see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the wig and I'm going to put just like regular dye with regular developer i'm gonna probably use a 40 to 50 developer on it and i'm just gonna do a regular because that water wasn't watering but it's okay i'm gonna work it out i'm gonna work it out okay okay So I got my wig in a bag with the color on and I'm just going to let it sit for about 30 minutes. So that way this color going to stick and it's going to stick good. I'll come back in 30 minutes and we'll see what the results are. Alrighty y'all, this is what it looks like when it's wet. Much better, much better, much better. It's given the color I wanted. 
Alrighty y'all, so this was the final color that it came out to. It is still a little wet, but it is still looking good. The waves and the curls, it looks really, really good. I do have some shades of like lighter greens and lighter uh, browns in there too, but that's okay. It's still giving Medusa vibes. Yeah, look at that. All those greens. The lace didn't get too messed up in the front either, so that's a good thing. That's good. You can also see like the teal in there too that I put, just to give it a little spunk. But all together, it looks really good. Pretty cute though. I do kind of like them. I'm gonna see what it looks like when um it fully dries and when I put like my makeup on and my costume on. But I'm gonna see. More than likely, I might straighten it and curl it, but. The waves look really good and it's super soft, y'all. My hair is still super soft. This wig is A1. It's been through the fire. It looks really good. I'm excited. Alrighty, y'all. So I'm back and my makeup is done. Y'all, I killed it on this makeup. Like, and my hair turned out amazing. Look at that green. Look at that. Ugh. So, y'all, this, oh, and I got my little Medusa earrings, got my little snake earrings right here. So, y'all, I got my makeup on, I got my hair going, I know I got a little bit more to do for it, but for now, it looks really good, everything is coming together, I got my outfit ready to go, I'm gonna show y'all what my outfit is gonna semi look like, right over here, I got it from Fashion Nova, and um, I had tried it on, and it looks super good, super, super good, and I'm also gonna put, like, more of these scales on my body too when i put my outfit on so that way it all comes together and i'm gonna show y'all what the end product looks like so stay tuned definitely keep watching happy halloween everybody and just let's see what the finished product looks like y'all ah! right, so this is what the outfit is looking like it's giving medusa yes honey Yes, with the snakes is giving. Alrighty, y'all, this is the final product of the costume. Yes. With the little hood in the back. Yes, we love it. Y'all know what's going on with this. Um, what's going on with this little hat, headband thing. But yeah, y'all, it's cute. It came out real cute. So let me know what y'all think about this Medusa costume. Rate it. I'll give it a, a good nine. It's probably one of the best costumes I've done. And y'all, yeah, let me know. Let me know how y'all like it. I am going out. Let me grab my chair, y'all, because I need to take a seat. All right, yeah. Look into my, my eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all, look into my eyes. So... I'm finna go out. Um, we're gonna go to a couple parties. I'll show you glimpses and clips of it, um, of what it, the night is looking like. Everybody in their costumes and what my sister looking like, what her man looking like, what we all looking like, what the family looking like. It's gonna be super cute. And I thought this was a really good like costume, y'all. Like, come on. You can't tell me this costume not hidden. With the nails too. And I got the little earrings and I put a little bit of green stuff. The um the thing that I did for here with the fishnet stockings wasn't working really for my skin. But it's okay. I still got a little green, a little shum shum. But as long as the face, the face is given, it's given. I love my costume. Um the shoes I'll be wearing are like some little heels, but I'm gonna take them right off and I'm gonna put some gym shoes on or some crocs because I don't want nobody stepping on my shoes or my feet. No, ain't nobody looking at my shoes. <laughs> I mean, they are, but like, ain't nobody really looking at my shoes right now. But thank you all so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And definitely hit that notification bell to know when I'm posting more videos too. A happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. I have a safe and beautiful Halloween. I love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming back and tuning in. And on that note, y'all, I will see you later. Bye.